This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a toolkit for all YouTubers alike. With advanced metrics and functionality within YouTube itself, including things like bulk syndication and other bulk updating tools, TubeBuddy is the best video manager for you. Want to try it yourself? Click the link down below to get a free trial. Also consider signing up for Talency, with TubeBuddy Pro included. Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros, and today I'm going to be bringing you a sub $200 streaming PC box. Yes, you heard me right. A sub $200 streaming PC that allows you to be in complement with your gaming PC to take the workload off your gaming PC and be able to stream at high fidelity without any performance hit. Interested? Well, let's talk about that. So before I get into the specs of the system, I gotta let you all know exactly how this works. I have a secondary streaming PC that I use for my live streams featuring an i7-5820K and really whatever GPU I have in it at the moment. And you know what? I actually make this work without a capture card. Crazy, right? Well, I actually made a dedicated video about this if you hit the i in the top right corner. But in short, we are using the OBS NDI plugin, a plugin that allows you to pass an OBS screen to another system with an OBS version installed and use that secondary system as an encoding machine to take the load off your main gaming PC. It's free and anyone can use it. Really cool, right? So it did inspire me to put together a ultra budget streaming box for those who put all their money into their gaming PCs and want to get into streaming and just want to take the workload off their systems to get the best of both worlds, be able to produce a high quality stream while also keeping those great FPS numbers. So the parts for this build were actually fairly simple. I went with two configurations to test two scenarios that I wanted to give because there are a lot of different streaming setups that a lot of people go with and or platforms. So I first started out with an i5 2400 system with eight gigabytes of RAM, an ASUS motherboard, and whatever other power supply I had lying around and case. You can really piece this all together because this is using used hardware. It's the best way to go for something like this. You really wouldn't want to go out and buy a new system. It's not practical and it's not something that I would recommend doing. Now as I mentioned, I am using the i5-2400, the most important key here. The CPU does most of the encoding in a live stream. You can use GPU acceleration, but most of the time it doesn't give nearly as good of a visual quality as pure CPU encoding will. So originally I tested this with a 1080p 60fps stream at 5500 megabits per second. Now these settings are actually pretty demanding and really only work well on YouTube, which I actually do a morning live stream every single morning. If you want to check that out, be sure to hit the bell notification to know when I go live. How does the i5-2400 perform? What if you just went out and picked up an office PC with an i5-2400, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and whatever other storage drive or power supply you have in there? Would just the CPU alone be enough? Well, for sub $100, you could pull off a 720p 60fps stream, but on 1080p 60fps, you do start to struggle. You can't keep a constant 60fps experience. If you are to stream at 30fps, which while be it is a option, I highly wouldn't recommend in today's day and age of YouTube and Twitch, you can still get a constant 30fps experience with a secondary streaming PC. But hey, even if your internet is really sucky and you can only stream at 720p at 30fps, you could really easily grab an office PC with something like Sandy Bridge or Ivy Bridge and really make something that could perform very well. But I wanted to step it up a little bit, so I decided to throw in a super cheap GPU for some hardware acceleration to see if I could get very close to keeping that 1080p 60fps stream that I oh so desire for under $200. So I went and got a GTX 285, which you can get for dirt cheap anywhere. Really any modern GPU will help out with this. Anything over the 200 series or Radeon 5000 series, anything around that range will add a good chunk of performance to the setup. So with the new GPU in, I decided to do some more performance numbers and well, it was pretty damn good. At 1080p 60fps, there were some slight dips into 58 to 59 fps range on the streaming PC that is. I really did not lose any performance with OBS open on my main PC. Maybe a frame or two here, but nothing that I could notice. And on my secondary PC, I was getting a little bit of a chop frame rate with the stream at 1080p 60fps, but that's to be expected because the CPU was still pinging at 70 to 80% load, which is very high for the CPU. But then I decided to drop it down to 720p 60fps, which is what most people stream at anyways. Well, most reasonable people anyways. And with the settings set to that, the system was doing perfect. There were no drop frames. Everything was looking really crispy. And I made a 720p 60fps streaming box for under $200 with OBS NDI. 
It's crazy, right? So if you're very interested in upgrading your streaming game, this is a great way to do it. Sub $200, you can put together a pretty awesome system that can actually improve your streaming setup tenfold and make gaming much more enjoyable while streaming and also just much simpler. And hey, it's also really cool to have a badass two PC setup, you know, to flaunt with your friends a little bit who also stream. Really any quad core CPU over Sandy Bridge and maybe some older FX series CPUs will do great for something like this. I I highly recommend you give it a look if you're a streamer and if you want any more information comment down below and I can be glad to help you out. And that about wraps this video up here guys. If you like this video leave a big like down below and comment streaming PC in the comment section down below if you made it this far and also let me know if you're interested in doing something like this. It's a really awesome investment into your streaming setup and it's something that's relatively new but I haven't seen much content around it so here I am. And if you haven't already be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from the Toasty Bros. Follow us on Twitter, join our Discord community and all that fun stuff and I hope to see you all in the next video guys. Peace out.